Hello and welcome to this video lecture on macros in Excel. Macros are great because they can help us automate tasks, things that are usually done repeatedly. Perhaps you have a series of tasks that you'd like done at the end of every week. Once you record a macro doing the tasks as you want them done, it's very easy to delegate and have those tasks completed by a less experienced user. It also can be done very quickly. If you have a macro that you record that would require you to take 30 individual steps that usually takes you a couple of minutes to complete, the computer can do it faster when you run it as a macro. The downside of macros, of course, are viruses. Keep in mind that a virus is a piece of code that is capable of copying itself and typically it will end up having a detrimental effect such as corrupting a file or multiple files or something on your system even. So you have to make sure that you secure your work against those viruses. Macro security settings in Excel offer you multiple options. The default is just disabling macros with notification. If you work with macros a lot and you trust all of the files that you use, you could set the macro security settings in Excel to enable all macros. Your next option is disable all macros except those that are digitally signed macros. The default was disable all macros with notification, and the last is disable all macros without notification. That way any file you open will never have a macro enabled in it. Macro security is actually set in the Trust Center, and that's the central Trust Center for all Office macro security settings. Now, one of your options was to enable macros that came in with digital signatures. Keep in mind a digital signature is kind of like the stamp of approval. You can get digital signatures by creating your own, or you can go with one that's created with a Microsoft partner and it's going to be publicly distributed. That gives you just a brief overview of macros in Excel. 